Hi everyone, it's Miss Shermaine, and I'm so glad you're joining me today for story time. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Now, you know it's um, the time of year um, that's called fall or autumn, and it's really fun, but, but our weather changes. It gets a little cooler, and the leaves on the tree turn orange and red and brown. It's a really fun time of year. One thing that we do around harvest time is called Halloween. Do you guys like to dress up for Halloween? It's a lot of fun. So today I'm reading a book and it's called The Pumpkin Patch Parable and it's by Liz Curtis Higgs. It's a really fun, special book. So I hope you enjoy it. The Pumpkin Patch Parable. See this big red barn and these rolling green fields? That's where the farmer lives, way out in the country. It's so far out, the streets don't even have stop signs. Here we are. Here's the farm out in the country. The farmer grows lots of different things in those fields. He grows tall green corn and big red tomatoes, long yellow squash and little green peas. People eat that stuff for dinner. Mm -mm -mm. The best vegetables the farmer grows are pumpkins. They start out as flat oval seeds, almost as big as raisins. One hot June day, soon after school let out, the farmer planted his pumpkin seeds, just like he does every summer. The seeds disappeared into the ground in nice, neat rows, and they grew there in the dark all through the 4th of July. Here he is planting his little pumpkin seeds. Early one morning, a tiny green shoot quietly poked its way out of the soil. Soon, a long green vine stretched across the ground. From that vine, little buds sprouted into wide green leaves. The leaves spread out flat to catch the August sun. Now someday, those little green buds would turn into big orange pumpkins. But not yet. The patient farmer waited and waited. Here he is watching his pumpkin plants waiting for the pumpkins to come. Finally, the pumpkins began to grow. How different they looked. Some were tall and lean. Some were short and round. Some had lumps and bumps, but all of them were pumpkins. Here's a picture of all the different pumpkins. October came at last. The sky was bright blue and the air was cooler. Every night it got dark earlier than it did the night before. It was time for the farmer to harvest his pumpkin crop. He was so excited. The time had come. The farmer picked up one large pumpkin. Being very careful not to let it slip through his hands. And next came the messy part. Pumpkins are full of dozens and dozens of seeds and lots of yucky, slimy pulp. The farmer had a special plan for his chosen pumpkin 
So he had to get in and take the seeds and the slime out. Oh my goodness. Here he is. He's washing down his special pumpkin. He slowly slid a large knife right into the center of the pumpkin. The pumpkin didn't make a sound because vegetables don't cat don't talk. Well, if they did talk, the pumpkin might have said, ouch! Woo! But gently, gently, the farmer cut a round hole on the top of the pumpkin and he pulled on the stem. Squishy, stringy, yucky pulp waited for him inside. Yuck, 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 he pulled it out. Here he is working on his pumpkin. The farmer pulled out all the slimy pulp and he wrapped it up in old newspaper and put it in the compost pile. And then something really, really exciting happened. The pumpkin got a new face. The farmer called, carved a triangle for each eye. And, and pumpkins have eyes that don't blink or turn away. They, they see everything. And then he neatly carved a little square for a nose. And then he carved a big wide smile. Look at his beautiful pumpkin. What happened next was wonderful. The farmer put a small white candle down inside the pumpkin and he touched the wick with a flame. Oh, how the pumpkin glowed. As the sky grew darker, the pumpkin on the porch was shining brighter than ever. When people saw the smiling pumpkin, they smiled back. He was a happy, happy pumpkin. Here's our picture. All the neighbors knew that once again, the farmer had turned a simple pumpkin into a simply glorious sight. Now, did you know that in that same way, God the Father offers all of his children the chance to be made new, full of joy and full of light shining like stars in a dark world, just like that very, very, very special pumpkin. The end. Wow, what a special story. I love hearing about how the farmer waited patiently for that one special pumpkin and how that pumpkin shined and made others happy. That's how God makes us. When we keep him in our heart and we love him and learn from him, we shine too. We shine with our kindness, our goodness, our helping hands, and our wonderful heart. And we have the hands and feet of Jesus. What a great story. Every time I see a pumpkin now that lights up and that's happy, I think of this story. And I think of how knowing God makes me light up and be happy and makes me a better person. I bet God helps you be a better person too. Let's pray. This is a special story. Dear Jesus, thank you for this sweet, sweet story. And thank you that it reminds us of, of how God 
um, when we keep God in our heart, when we believe in, in Jesus, that we have a light that shines too. And it's Jesus in our heart. We love you. Amen. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this special story for our special time of year. And I'm excited. I, I hope you enjoy what costumes you're going to wear and, and um, the candy you're going to get and the fun you're going to have. Everyone, have a great time. Be safe and God bless you. Bye-bye.